Welcome everybody, VST here at Vistech and yes, what you see here right now is just some fan art created by one of my sons but what is beneath this beautiful painting is what is interesting and why probably you have clicked the video. So why really bought a 3D printed of Vecna from Stranger Things 4 and it's really insane. Vecna is the main antagonist from the fourth season of Stranger Things. So if you really don't know what Stranger Things is, I'm not sure where you have been around the last few years, but Stranger Things is a very nice hot show on TV, Netflix. The beautiful actor Jamie Campbell Bauer is performing the Vecna wall. And what can I tell you guys? I will now remove this so you can experience the beauty of Vecna and I will really show you everything in detail because the whole process is so fascinating the suit that takes hours to be put on the actor Jamie the authors that created the suit I'm gonna link all these videos down below it's really been fantastic practical effects and VFX and it's a joy for the eye so it kind of like a fest for your senses but right now, let's focus on what we have behind, which is the beginning of the end. And it will be shown to you at this very moment. Wow! <laughs> Beautiful, right, guys? This is the Stranger Things Vecna 3D printed bus or figure. And believe me, it really looks fantastic. I will tell you how I got it. I will tell you how much it cost and I'll tell you what I really obtained as an information from the altar. Uh, you might have seen I have quite some things here on my desk, Super Mario World and things that really my son is drawing. I don't really have too much figures. A Buddha there, which yeah, kind of stays and is also used as a prop in my videos. The moment I saw this, I was like, yes, I am buying this. This really looks insane. So it's like 20 centimeters, right? Um, it only weighs 200 grams. And I will just turn it very slowly around so that you can experience the beauty of this. And if you know Vecna, then most probably you already know what is on the back. But before me doing this, please take a look and appreciate the level of detail, which is really, really, really insane. It is a 3D printed bus or figure, right? And that's probably not the rocket science, guys. The rocket science was all the painting. The author told me that he used seven layers of paint and it was painted in the course of four days, several hours per day. Then, of course, all these paints should kind of dry and the next day more paint. And then eventually in the end, you get to this very, very beautiful product. And as I speak, guys, just please appreciate the level of detail. And I really hope that my phone will not play tricks with the focus because I am going insane, probably break it. And I'm now going to very slowly turn Vecna around and just make sure that everything is in focus. So please bear with me. Appreciate the level of detail. I'm not sure how close my camera can get, but all right, before I turn it to the back, guys, just please watch what happens. If you're not familiar with the whole story, Vecna is a fearsome sentient creature aligned with the upside down world. Vecna is from uh, the human world. He had a real name, he was a proper person, Henry Creel. And after moving to a new home in Hawkins in March 59, he discovered he has some remarkable psychokinetic abilities. And of course, I'm not so good at stranger things, I'm just reading the fandom there, guys. But after he discovering what he can do, he kind of tried to, yeah, and this is spoilerless, so if you are not really a fan or you want to watch it and you're not there, please, spoiler alert, he eventually killed his mother, his sister, and then, yeah, he just framed his father, I mean, this is very convenient, and his father was put for life in jail, and then at some point, he was the zero patient of Dr. Martin Brenner, who is very famous for handling the Hawkins National Laboratory, where, of course, he met Eleven. But before 11, there was 10, there was 9, there was 8, and then eventually it has been discovered to us that nobody else but Henry, right? Nobody else but this little boy, Henry Creel, who also was number one. He didn't fall to 11, and eventually 11 
help him to escape, they had a fight, and at some point, Eleven sent him to the upside down world where he has been transformed to this kind of, I'm not sure really what kind of creature it is, but it's, it does really look beautiful. Just appreciate again all the level of details. Okay, enough talking. I am now gonna turn this bad boy slowly around so that you can appreciate the level of detail and then again guys printing is probably not the hardest part but take a look at this just imagine you putting color in this and that's why I told also the author I met this guy online this costed me 40 euros and I do believe it's unique he told me it's been quite the hit as he already like sold four or five of those but the best thing is every time you know he's coloring all these things manually and yeah all of these things somehow are unique because you can really never achieve the same print right and of course even if you're able to achieve the same print then at some point guys uh, yeah you have to manually color it and then eventually just become this fierce figure Vecna, who is known also as the V-Man, as Henry, as number one, and it's probably one of the scariest characters from the TV, probably even more scary than Darth Vader, yeah, why not, because, I mean, go watch it, really crazy, so, this has been the figure, guys, I will slowly turn it around again, so that you can really experience, I really like this idea of a 3D printed bus, right, so, really, it looks very cool, I have been warned though this should not be exposed at direct sunlight it could be problematic with the figure it could kind of like melt down so I said to the author listen it will just stay at my desk I want to be motivated by Vecna every time I sit down here create a new video for you guys I know Vecna is looking at my shoulder so I'm gonna be like okay yeah what should I do now and etc it really looks cool by the way and now having the chance to really see Vecna in 3d kind of makes me think he's a mixture of things we know from like alien and the predator and probably just the Predator and yeah the skeleton figure I'm not sure I'm not sure it really is a mixture of scary things we know from other shows but I mean can you just take another look and say oh my god is this not scary I just think that it's probably one of the scariest characters played on TV thanks to Jamie Bauer Stranger Things season 4 Jamie Bauer beautiful cast Joseph Queen playing Eddie and etc. I mean all the old guys from Treasure Things 1, 2, 3, Millie Boy Brown and all of the other kids and etc. So go watch it, it's a nice show if you are into things like this and if you like content like this yeah, you probably will not subscribe for this channel because I mainly do tech videos and since this has been printed by a 3D printer and mainly painted I just see this also being part of a tech thing it's of course not so directly tech but it is very, very cool with that said, this is the over and bye bye. And bye. Bus. Bye. Bye.